So hi guys, I decided to record a video lesson for lesson two and lesson three of module one for understanding culture, society, and politics. As you can still remember, I mentioned that a uh, quarter one contains three lessons. The first lesson is about anthropology and the study of culture. Lesson two is about sociology and the study of society, and lesson three is about political science. So last meeting, we were able to discuss lesson one, which is about uh, anthropology and culture. So today, let us now uh, try to discuss sociology in the study of society. If you need some clarifications or you have some questions, you can raise it up on our next meeting. We can discuss it among uh, the class, given the limited 40 minutes time. Okay, so most of the usual day-to-day -day life namin dati in our generation before you uh, includes inclination for reading bounded copies of novels. Mahilig kami magbasa ng mga libro that time. Uh, mag, mag, gumawa ng mga gawaing bahay, mga physical activities, maglaro ng sipak sa kraw, maglaro ng jollens, maglaro ng uh, fog. I'm not sure if you're still familiar with that today, no? Bonding with family members, sungka, yan. Those are our games before. Tumbang preso, yan. I'm not sure if you're still playing with, with games like that today. As you can see, our day-to-day -day practice nowadays are quite different from the usual routine that we used to do. Today, we already have uh, Facebook, we have Netflix, my Instagram na, my TikTok, YouTube, blog, Mobile Legend, etc. These words are quite familiar, right? If students like you might have focused on posting various statements on social media sites, you know, you play drama movies, you play online games, you dance to the trend, and many more. This transformation in society manifests the trends of the time. Our behavior is being shaped by the society where we are in, and as a social being, we need to be flexible in order to adapt to this, to this societal changes. So, to know more on this, let us discuss in this lesson how our society affects an individual's social behavior as the focus of the discipline. Okay, our objective for this lesson is to articulate the nature of sociology, its goals, and perspectives. Okay, so now let us define some important terms that we will encounter throughout the lesson. And if you will try to read the module, you will encounter these terms. So the first term is the word sociology. When you say sociology, it is a behavioral science that deals with the study of society. If you can still remember, uh, be, during our first lesson, we define anthropology as the study of human. Sociology is the study of society. And society is a group of people living together in a definite territory and sharing a common culture. A group of sila ng mga tao na nagsama-sama sa isang territory na nagsishare ng common culture. Sabi natin sa lesson natin sa lesson 1, one characteristic of culture is that culture is shared. You remember that? We cannot say that 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 this that this behavior is part of of this society's culture if only one person is practicing that. Okay, because uh, a culture, one characteristic of culture is uh, it is being shared. Our next word is social behavior. So, sabi, social behavior is a set of actions performed by individuals of the same species when they interact with each other. Ito yung mga actions, so ito yung mga behavior ng mga tao sa isang grupo, sa isang society. Ano, kapag tayo ay makikisalamuha sa ating kapwa, like, 
Naalala niyo dati, one of our culture, sabi niyo, one of our behavior is that nagmamano tayo sa matatanda. Kasi that is part of our culture. So lahat ng mga anak, nagmamano sila sa kanilang magulang. That is one example of social behavior. Our next term is social behavior. Ah, societal norm, sorry. The behaviors naman that are considered acceptable in a group or society. Ito yung mga norms, ito yung mga behaviors, ito yung mga mga kilos mo na uh, tanggap sa society yung kinabibilangan mo. Like, say for example, if you are a Catholic, ano, ano yung societal norms, dapat you know how to, to do the sign of the cross. Yan. If you are naman a uh, from a Pentecostal group, you know, it 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 is an acceptable a uh, behavior to to pray in the name of Jesus at the end of your prayer. Yeah, so that is one of the societal norms dun sa grupo na na yon. Okay, our next term is theory. When we say theory. This is a statement or an approach that attempts to explain why certain things are the way they are. Now, so for this lesson, this shall cover the explanations focused on society, theories that are focused on society in the interaction processes taking place therein. So before we start our learning adventure, let us try to answer the first task. So this treatise will give you an overview of what you will learn as you go along the path. So you can get your notebook and number it a uh, pen and paper and then number it one to five. And then you state whether you agree or disagree to this uh, statement so number one is that society shapes the social behavior of man so do you think you agree or you disagree number two just like culture society is also a complex whole agree or disagree number three sociological perspective highlights the importance of studying our society. Number three, sociological perspective highlights the importance of studying our society. Number four, the symbolic interaction theory states that each part of society has a function. And number five, the social context theory originated from Karl Marx writing on class struggle. Yes, so let us try to check your answer if you got it right. Number one, sabi, society tao shapes the social behavior of man. So if your answer is agree, you are correct. So social society shapes the social behavior of man correct. You, sh you should agree with that statement. Number two is, just like culture, society is also a complex whole. So if you agree in this statement, you are correct. So put a check on your paper. Number three, sociological perspective highlights the importance of studying our society. So if you agree in that statement, you are correct. Number four, the symbolic interaction interactionist theory states that each part of society has a function. If you agree in this statement, you are wrong. So the answer is that you should disagree. Number five, the social conflict theory originated from Karl Marx writings on class struggles. This statement is correct, so you should agree. If you agree with this statement, if your answer is agree, you should mark your number five. So, so if you got five points, that's good. 
if you got one or two or three or four, that's okay because this is free test. As I mentioned before, it's okay to get zero from this because we will still be discussing this. So now let us um, discuss the study and uh, the definition that has defined sociology. So the focal point in the study of society is man's social behavior. Since his behavior, your behavior, my behavior, and his or her behavior is greatly shaped by the society where she or he belongs. So di ba, our, ang, ang ating mga pag-uugali ay nahuhubog dahil sa kinabibilangan nating society. So as a social being, kailangan natin maintindihan yung social behavior and practices in our community. To understand clearly our society, it is necessary to deal with the wide variety of social dimension, dimension such as yung social change, social institutions, and social stratification and other broad range of phenomena that deal with the underlying recurring patterns of influence on social behavior. Thus, the branch of social science that is responsible no, for helping us understand the complexity of our society is sociology. Before, uh, the study of human behavior is anthropology. So now, the, the branch of social science that helps us deal with uh, the complexity, that helps us deal, uh, that will help us understand the complexity of our society is sociology. So sociology is a behavioral science that deals with the study of uh, society. So it is from two Greek terms that is social, means group or partner and then logos which means a study so okay so same with culture society has its characteristics as well so you remember we said that uh, in order for that culture to be considered a culture it has to be this characteristic same goes with society a group of people living together in, is considered to be a society if it has the following characteristics. Number one, it comprises a complex whole. Society is a complex whole because it is a social system. It's a social system, no? As a complex whole, um, binubuo siya ng mga individuals or groups that interact in a relatively stable and patterned manner. A change in one group of individuals will affect the stability in the other parts of the whole system. Like, diba, uh, uh, it, it comprises a complex whole because nagsasama-sama yung mga individuals or groups na there is somehow different about them, but they interact in a relatively stable and patterned manner. Walang conflict. Now, if one in the, if an individual or a group of individual, one group of individual, uh, has some sudden change, magkakaroon ng epekto yan sa stability ng whole system, no? So kaya siya sinasabing, uh, once a society is being com, being composed, uh, is a complex whole. Okay? So next is, it is relatively large. Bakit siya nasabi na relatively large? Sabi daw, people must be socially integrated. No, dapat na, na nakakapag, uh, nakakapag, may merong interaction yung different people or different groups of people para makonsider ma sila na isang society, no, than being individually scattered. Thus, all the smaller social groups and units composed of like family, neighborhood, communities, nations, and the world are socially integrated to be relatively large in scope. 
our next characteristic is it provides means for socialization for its its members. So meaning societal norms, di ba dinify natin yung societal norms kanina, can be shared and taught to those to those people who come from other societies before being as accepted as functioning members of a certain society. Let's say for example, ah, uh, ah, uh, nakapag-asawa siya ng 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 pag-iibang bansa. So meron siyang ibang uh, social norm. So in order for that person to be considered as part of that society or to be to be considered to be accepted as a functioning members of that society, he needs or she needs to learn the culture, our culture. So dapat matuto siya kung halimbawa, kung ano yung kultura, halimbawa, ang ano yung kung paano kayo sa loob ng pamilya, di ba? Ganun tayo, tinuturuan natin sila. Pag meron tayo ah uh, na mamadadagdag sa member ng family natin na from other may ibang paniniwala o may ibang kultura. Di ba? Okay, next. It endures, produces, and restrains, it restrains its members for generation. So, for a society to survive, it must have the ability to produce, no? Endure and sustain its new members for generations. Dapat kaya niya siyang evolve. Ano? Kung yung mga susunod na member ng mga generation para masabi siyang society. Number five is the members of a society share a common culture. All members of society are bounded by the same culture. And number six, it occupies a definite territory. The members in a society must live in a certain specific habitat or place and have a feeling of belongingness and sense of purpose. Dapat meron siyang territory. So here are some of the results when we engage in the study of sociology or the goals of studying psychology. Number one, we wanted to demonstrate on understanding of the concepts of cultural variation, social differences, and social changes. Number two, demonstrate on understanding of the significance of studying society. Number three, develop a comparative perspective to explain the diversity of human society. And number four, describe how social structures and institutions operate. And lastly, communicate sociological concepts and its applications effectively. So, sociologists employ three prim primary theoretical perspective. The symbolic interactionist theory, structural function, functionalist theory, and social context theory. For social sciences, it is important to follow the theoretical perspective as a framework for understanding the phenomena such as the ways on how people form groups. No? Theories can provide us with explanations on the existence of society and the interaction processes taking place therein. Okay, so when we say symbolic interactionist theory, this is a theory that suggests uh, that people should attach meaning to symbols and they should act according to their interpretation of this symbol. The premise of this theory is that the process of interaction is an indispensable one in any society. Now, the premise of this theory is that the process of interaction is indispensable one, is indispensable in any society. However, not all interaction processes are relevant or meaningful to its members. 
So interactions only become meaningful uh, symbolically the moment meanings are attached to it. Now, ayong interaction nagiging makahulugan lang. Nagiging makahulugan lang symbolically kapag meron siyang meaning, meron tayong nilagay na meaning. Like, for example, in the Filipino institution of marriage, symbols, yung mga symbols na ginagamit natin includes yung wedding band, yung vows of commitment, you know, yung rings, yung white bridal dress, wedding cake, a pair of doves, etc. So it clearly shows that Philippine society attaches uh, general meanings to this symbol. However, you must critics, they claim that symbolic interaction theory mini neglect, neglects nila yung macro level of social interpretation. Pag sinabi natin yung macro level of social interpretation, it pertains to how individual perceive the scenario in a bigger picture or perspective. In other words, sabi nila, symbolic interactionists may miss the large issues of the society kasi nga, they are focusing too much too closely to the smallest detail. No, masyado sa kanilang mga yung mga symbolic, mga symbols. So, sabi ng, sabi ng iba, maaring mamiss yung bigger picture ng mga uh, symbolic interactionist kasi mas nakafocus sila sa detail. Hindi nila makikita yung ano ba yung malaking epekto nito. No? Pagdating naman sa structural functional theory. This is the second sociological perspective, uh, which is also known as functionalism. So the other term for structural functional theory is functionalism. This approach views society as a complex whole with an interconnected system wherein every part works together as a functional whole. So parang Every every part of the society must function, no, in order for that certain group to be called the society. The metaphor ni nito is example of this. The parang approach natin sa human body. We have arms, we have legs, we have we have a, a heart, a brain, and so on. So every every part of our body of the human body has its own neurons and system for working pero each part has to work together for a fully functioning structure or system no para para tayo mabuhay dapat yung lahat ng ating body functions mag work together di ba so think that our society where all the institutions have their own functions but they need to work together to achieve a common goal yan yung sa uh, functionalism theory. So, functionalists believe, naniniwala sila, that society is held together by social consensus in which yung mga members of the society agree and work together to achieve what is best for the society as a whole. Parang sa kanila, if all goes well, the parts of the society produce order, stability, and productivity. No, however, if all does not go well, the parts of the society must adapt to recapture a new order, stability, and productivity. Like, ang example nito is, during a financial recession with its high rate of unemployment and infl inflation, the social programs are trimmed or cut. Parang, schools mag-offer sila ng fewer programs, yung family mag, mag magmasitipid, no, di ba? So, parang magkakaroon ng, ng so another social uh, order. Like, for example, ngayon, crisis ngayon, sobrang taas ng gasolina. So, sa bahay, pwede uh, magsitipid mo munang maglulod, mga ganyan. Parang, kung ang TV ninyo is prepaid, di muna tayo maglulod this month para makatipid. Ayan. Or kung datang nilulod nyo is 350, ngayon, 100 na lang. So, that is an example of functionalism theory. Nagkakaroon, ta, nagkakaroon ng new social order because somehow, in some way, yung, yung present na function, yung present na order doesn't work. So, uh, another one needs to be created. Okay, dito tayo sa last. The social conflict theory. The last sociological 
perspective is the social context theory. In this theory, young society is being viewed as a competition of limited resources. This perspective is macro-level approach. Kanina sabi natin doon sa symbolic interactional interactionist theory, parang may mga nag-uupo sa kanila. E yung nag-uupo sa kanila, ito yung mga naniniwala sa social context theory. Because uh, yung mga naniniwala in this, uh, yung mga nasa social context theory kasi, yung perspective nila is macro, macro level of approach. No? This is mostly identified in the writings of the German philosopher and sociologist Karl Marx. Sabi niya, society being made up of individuals and in different social classes must compete for social, material, and political resources such as yung food, yung housing, employment, education. Kailangan natin mag-compete for these resources. According to, to the context theory, the existence of this inequality no, in a society usually have conflicting values in agenda. Ito yung nagiging dahilan kung bakit uh, we compete against one another. Now, however, social context theorists ini-emphasize nila that such conflicts between individuals help them in motivating people in societies over time. Dahil daw dito sa mga competition for resources, mas motivate yung mga tao and yung societies, yung mga tao sa societies na mag-evolve over time. Because of this competition, like for example, because of competition in when it comes to employment, di ba? Yung mga kalaban ang marunong mag-computer. So, anong gagawin mo? So, you will, uh, you, the, the tendency is for you to adapt, to learn, di ba? Para makasabay ka doon sa mga kakompetensya mo. So, those, these are the three theory, the three sociological perspectives when it comes to culture and Okay, so for practice, practice task one, what you need to do is, so by the way, you need a uh, pen and paper for this, and what you need to do is identify the terms being referred to in the following statements, yung one to five, yung sagot, hanapin nyo dito sa box, symbolic interactions, sociology, context theory, theory, Karl Marx, social norms, functionalism, and society. So uh, you can pause the video and then you can answer it in your paper and then resume the video and we can check if you got it right okay so i think we're done number one answer is Karl marx number two is functionalism number three is social norms number four theory number five symbolic interaction if you got five points congratulations okay but if not you can Right. If, if you want to, you can try to answer it again and to check your answer. Okay. Okay, for practice task two, the same thing, you need to answer this in your paper, numbers one to ten. And then what you need to do is to select the correct word from the highlighted words um, to complete the sentence. Like for example, number one. The members in a society have a sense of purpose, happiness, territory. Okay, so you may pause the video and then you can answer it in your paper and then uh, you can resume the video and you can check if you got this right. Okay, I think we're done. So, number one's answer is the members in a society have a sense of purpose. Have a sense of purpose. So, the answer is purpose. Number two. Functionalists believe that society is held together by social consensus in which members of society agree upon and work together to achieve what is best for society as a whole. Number three, all members of the society must be bonded by the same culture. Number four, sociology is a behavioral science that deals with the study of society. Number five, people must be socially integrated to be considered relatively large than being individually scattered. Number six, for a society to survive, it must have the ability to 
produced, endure, and sustain its new members for generation. Number seven, accepted, I mean, number seven, societal norms can be shared and taught to those who come from other societies before being accepted as functioning members of a certain society. Number eight, society shapes human behavior. Number nine, a social conflict theory emphasizes how such conflicts between individuals are improved in motivating people in society to, to evolve over time. So conflict yung sagot. Number 10, a change in one group of individuals will affect the stability of the other part of the whole system. So, if you got it then, very good. You can uh, answer it again if you want to. Okay, for your, for the post test, you need to arrange the words to create a meaningful definition on the nature of sociology. Okay, number one. Yes. Yeah. I-re-arrange nyo yung words para makabuo kayo ng meaningful definition of sociology. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. Okay, let us check your work. Let's see if you got it right. Number one, you sh the answer should be, society shapes the social behavior of man. Number two, people must be socially integrated to be considered relatively larger than being individually scattered. Number three, the members in a society must live in a certain specific habitat or place and have a common belongingness and sense of purpose. Number four, all members of the society must be bonded by the same culture. Number five, the focal point in the study of society is man's social behavior since his behavior is greatly shaped by the society where she or he belongs. Okay, so, yes, this one. So for this, assignment, you need to write an essay consisting of 200 to 500 words based on the topic below and write it legibly in a long bond paper if you will submit it in a hard copy. But uh, you can type it in words and you can uh, I mean, you need to submit it in a hard copy in our meeting. So, here's the topic or working title. How I understand and appreciate the society that shapes my social behavior. So, pwede yung palitan yung title as long as it is related to the given topic. Here are the rubrics. So, organization of ideas, 10 points. Substantial insight to the topic, 15 points. Support and development of idea, 10 points. And 5 points for drama. By the way, I will add another five points for time limit. So that will become 45 points. So if you submit late, simply may bawa. I mean, three points ang dadagdag ko for time limit. Okay? So that would be all. Please remember that I don't need any other output. Your practice task one, practice task two. You can keep that to yourself. What I need is the assignment, okay? So, what I need for lesson 2 is the assignment. So, lesson 1, anong kinuha ko ko rin sa lesson 1 is your uh, art, your illustration. And then, sa lesson 2 naman, ang kukunin ko naman dito is yung essay. Okay? 